farms having less than 2 hectares of land produces around one third of the world's food, just on one quarter of the world's agricultural land. However, the smallholder farms are often going hungry and struggling with farm profitability. The transition from subsistence to commercial farming make the situation even more critical. The smallholder farms are mostly concentrated in Asia, Sub-Saharan Africa and Latin America. Bangladesh is well known for being smallholder farms with an average farm size of 0.54 hectare. The National Agricultural Mechanization Policy of Bangladesh envisages efficient, profitable and commercial agriculture vision for ensuring sustainable food and nutrition security. To expedite the use of cost-effective and profitable agricultural machinery and increase land and labor productivity, etc. A research hub based on the Department of Agricultural Economics at Bangladesh Agricultural University focused on appropriate mechanization economics in Bangladesh. To know further details about the appropriate mechanization economics, let's have a chat with the founding director of HSET, Dr. A.K.M. Abdullah Alamin. Bangladesh experiences agricultural intensification through input use, crops, and agricultural mechanization. To achieve labor productivity, draft animal power dependent labor intensive farm management system has been substituted to smaller uh, two wheel machines mechanization and larger four wheel machines mechanization, especially for tillage operation. Since 1940s, there have been repeated attempts of various size and types of machines where irrigation was the center of mechanization initiatives coupled with smaller two-wheel machines, mainly power tiller, and larger four-wheel machines, mainly tractors. Over the last five decades, the country is in mechanization loop, follows the repeated patterns of two-wheel machines and four-wheel machines mechanization. The choice between two-wheel machines and four-wheel machines mechanization remain unsolved. Even the evolving mechanization of our planting and harvesting operations is in mechanization loop using both two-wheel machines and four-wheel machines for farming operations. Considering field work productivity constraints and labor productivity, experts now advocate more farm operations with larger four-wheel machines. But the resource-poor farmer cannot afford larger machines, have credit constraints, and unable to use larger machines on small and fragmented fields. Agricultural mechanization in Bangladesh mainly concentrated on irrigation, land preparation and post-harvesting operations. Mechanized intercultural operations are proposed. Bangladesh claims spraying systems as mechanized, but this is mainly a manual backpack strapped uh, knapsack spraying system, which is far away from the world's mounted and trailed boom spraying system. Uh, even uh, far away from the unmanned aerial vehicle spraying systems. Operations like insecticide, fungicide, herbicide applications and fertilizing needs to be mechanized. Appropriate mechanization is crucial because of on-farm productivity constraints related to machinery load, farm size, labor scarcity, increasing oil rate, credit constraints and climate shocks. The World Bank data on the percentage of agricultural employment over time reveals that agricultural workforce is declining dramatically in Bangladesh, positioned just after Japan. Our name is Mathur. I am a Kishok. So, we are going to talk about the labor cost. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? চাষ করেন ট্রাক্টর নাকি হচ্ছে বড় ট্রাক্টর গুলো যেগুলো সেগুলো তো ছোট বিল তো বড় ট্রাক্টর আসলে ঘুরতে পারে না জমি ছোট ছোট পাটেলা দিয়ে চাষ করা হয় আপনি পেশা কি করেন আবাদ ফসলের মধ্যে থাকি এগুলো মনিগঞ্জে জমির চাষ ফিলাপ দিয়ে চাষতে গেলে অনেক সময় লাগে আর এই ট্রাক্টর দিয়ে চাষলে মনিগঞ্জে অল্প সময়ের মধ্যে আমরা পুরো বিশেষে মনিগঞ্জে আমরা মাটি লাগিয়ে নিতে পারি আপনারা ফিলাপ দিয়ে চাষলে মনে করেন যে জমিটা মাটি ওঠে কম চাষ বেশি দেওয়া লাগে মোটা ওঠে না ছোট 
Educated youth and the uneducated youth are not interested to take agriculture as a career because of human drudgery and prefer non-farm employment opportunities. Uh, the working group who are uh, mainly working on agriculture are getting older. So the main concern for Bangladesh is to ensure who will farm in the future and the family farm concepts in Bangladesh is disappearing over time. To guide appropriate mechanization economics, whether to adopt two-wheel machines or four-wheel machines, this study was built on navigating the National Agricultural Mechanization Policy and National Agricultural Mechanization Implementation Plan with evidence-based policy decisions. We know that according to the microeconomic principles of farm management and production economics, in the long run, the selection of crops and farm management alternatives should be based on utility maximization theory. But utility maximization theory needs to consider various factors such as value of leisure time, risk, capital and other resource constraints, transaction cost. However, in the short run, choosing enterprises and mechanized farm management alternatives should at least cover the cost incurred to maximize farm profit. This study modeled typical production systems of Bangladesh. The major and minor crops were con mostly concentrated in winter, locally known as Robi season. Another prominent crop growing season is monsoon, locally known as Kharif 2. The pre monsoon season, locally known as Kharif 1, also grows a few crops. Major monsoon crop considered in this study was almond rice. Major winter crops modeled were boro rice and wheat. Minor winter crops were maize, lentil, and mustard. This modeling was conducted to identify profitable crop alternatives. To model Bangladesh's real farm management scenarios, this study considered typical current and evolving mechanization scenarios of Bangladesh. Similarly, to guide proposed mechanization emphasis in the National Agricultural Mechanization Roadmap of Bangladesh, this study also modeled proposed mechanization that will guide farming for the future of Bangladesh. Five mechanization scenarios were modeled, such as scenario one, where only tillage was mechanized and other operations are manual labor intensive. This scenario one is typical partial mechanization scenario in Bangladesh. Scenario two is typical partial mechanization scenarios where tillage and harvesting were mechanized and other operations were manual. This is the current partial evolving mechanization scenarios in Bangladesh, which Bangladesh is trying to adopt. Another evolving partial mechanization scenario was scenario three, where tillage planting and harvesting were mechanized and other operations were manual. Two proposed mechanization scenarios were modeled to guide future mechanization potentials like scenario 4 which was whole farm conventional mechanized operations with human drivers and scenario 5 which was whole farm conventional mechanized operations retrofitted for autonomy. To retrofit the conventional agriculture machinery sets like as hands-free Hector and hands-free farm demonstrated by Harvard Adams University of UK a robust array of hardware and software was molded including safety equipment, control system, control adaptation, camera feedback, communication and consumables. These five scenarios were modeled for small two-wheel machines mechanization and larger four-wheel machines mechanization. In modeling the whole farm systems, operations were considered including tilling to threshing. The owner-operated machinery markets were modeled to guide the economics of appropriate mechanization for green seed farms, small one hectare, medium three hectare, and larger four hectare farms were modeled considering the context of northwestern Bangladesh. The profit maximizing hands free hectare linear programming model was used in this study that is applied throughout the world for alternative enterprises, technology and policy selection scenarios. This profit maximization model was based on Pardu crop or livestock linear programming model and our study took advantages from general algebraic modeling system software. Additionally, sensitivity tests were conducted to check the profitability of mechanization alternatives considering doubling waste rate and moderate to acute labor shortage. Further, sensitivity test was extended with and without subsidy intervention for agricultural machinery to guide the government with evidence-based policy suggestions. 
This study also analyzed demand stakeholders' attitudes towards labor-saving technologies by using descriptive statistics. The potentials of labor-saving agri-tech adoptions are expected to bring paradigm shifts in green oil seed farm. earlier to identify profitable enterprises and mechanize farm management alternatives, this study modeled major and minor crops typical in Bangladesh. The farms are assumed to manage with five mechanized management alternatives. Our study mainly focused on Rashai Division, which is a resource-poor climate-vulnerable region in northwestern Bangladesh. Currently struggling with groundwater depletion that looks innovative farm management enterprise alternatives to optimize grain, oil seed, production to ensure food and nutrition security. Russia Division was selected considering agronomic and ecological significance that encompasses 10 agroecological zones. Russia Division alone contributes 50% of almond rice, 70% of boro rice and nearly 40% of wheat nationally produced in Bangladesh. Apart from these major crops, Russia Division also produces a major share of minor crops such as maize, lentil and mustards produced in Bangladesh. This study used both nationally representative secondary data and non proprietary data. This data were further validated through face-to-face -face questionnaire survey, focus group discussion and key informant interviews. This data were based on production year of 2022 to 2023. The cross-sectional data collection followed Delphi method. A total of 100 demand stakeholders were surveyed in two steps to take advantage of individual responses and wisdom of crowds. To represent Rashai division, a total of four districts including Rashahi, Natur, Bogura, Noga or Sarvet. These districts are selected due to their agronomic significance for producing larger share of crops in Rashai division. The timing of major and minor crops production operations are determined through a comprehensive review. Initially secondary data from Yearbook of Agricultural Statistics prepared by Bangladesh Bureau of Statistics 2023. Bangladesh Agrometeorological Information Service and relevant literature. This data were further validated through expert consultations with Department of Agronomy at Bangladesh Agricultural University and Field Service. The main product into our sourced from Yearbook of Agricultural Statistics that is Bangladesh Bureau of Statistics 2023 and byproduct in data were compiled from some representative literature. The yield penalty of major and minor crops for one month late planting were based on secondary literature. The prices of enterprises were collected from Department of Agriculture and Marketing. To determine the direct cost of major and minor crops, a comprehensive approach was employed, integrating data from diverse sources. Seed costs were obtained from Bangladesh Agricultural Development Corporation and Fertilizer Recommendation were sourced from Fertilizer Recommendation Guide 2024. The associated fertilizer costs were both from Department of Agriculture and Marketing and Bangladesh Agricultural Development Corporation. The custom hiring tracing costs were based on Bangladesh Agricultural Research Institute. Machinery fuel and repair costs, pesticide expenses and irrigation expenditures were based on key informant interviews. To ensure the accuracy and reliability of this data, this were further validated through field survey and focus group discussion. Other data related to interest rate were based on average of monthly average interest rates of all banks providing agricultural credit. This data were further validated through opportunity cost of capital following semi manual and key informant interviews and focus group discussions. Equipment specification and initial cost data were based on several sources including non proprietary manufacturer data, technology importers available in Bangladesh, conservation agricultural machinery website and secondary publications. This data were further supplemented with the expert opinion from Bangladesh Agricultural Research Institute and key informant interviews. Equipment specification and pricing which is not adopted yet in Bangladesh are based on international platform like Alibaba, Tilmar, Made in China, Tractor Gen and so on. Useful life of machinery was gathered from several sources including secondary literature and importer websites. Overlap assumptions of all machineries are based on Bangladesh Agricultural Research Institute and Palm Power and Machinery Department of Bangladesh Agricultural University. Profit maximization optimization model found that farmer owned a whole farm smaller two wheel machines mechanization with human drivers was the most profitable farm management alternatives. 
the retrofitted autonomous machines mechanization was competitive when labor was very acute the on-farm productivity constraints indicate that autonomous machines could be promoted as medium to long-term solutions because autonomous larger farms were unable to farm uh, profitably and the medium and larger farms were not able to operate the whole farm optimally under acute labor constraints Compared to smaller two-wheel machines mechanization alternative, the larger four-wheel machines mechanization alternatives were not profitable solutions for Bangladesh. Machine-specific subsidy intervention needs revision because subsidy only changes profit margin under on-farm resource constraints. Even with subsidy, farmer-owned larger four-wheel machines mechanization struggled with farm profitability. Face-to-face -face interviews obtained the demand-side stakeholders' attitudes towards labor-saving technologies and legal ownership model. The study found that youths and active working age groups were more interested in labor-saving smart technologies. The type of legal ownership model they prefer ranges from sole proprietorship, to small partnership with two or three members, and association-based ownership like cooperatives. Findings from this study imply that agricultural mechanization interventions could be linked with labor markets and agrarian transformation. Designing policies to attract youths and active working age groups should be prioritized to create skill-based workforce in agriculture and to maximize the demographic dividends. <laughs> যদি এই সব ক্ষেত্রে সুবিধা হয় তাহলে অটোনেবাসটাই ভালো হবে কারণ একটা ট্রাক্টর দিয়ে যখন করা যাচ্ছে আর অটোনেবাসটা একেবারেই হাল বানানো যাচ্ছে অল্প সময়ের ভিতরে ছাড়ছরে কম হচ্ছে যদি ছাড়ছরে কম হয় তাহলে তো ওটাই ভালো The appropriate mechanization study has farm management implications for smallholders in Bangladesh and countries with with similar conditions it shows that in the short to intermediate term, machine-specific subsidy interventions need revision. And careful program design would encourage uh, field-to-farmstead transportation roads, and it would encourage uh, farm machine custom hiring services. This could bring a paradigm change to uh, smallholder settings in Bangladesh. In general, mechanization policy should uh, consider whole farm operations, not just specific field operations. Uh, and specifically, it should uh, address the issues of uh, field to farmstead transportation, because that is where uh, a lot of labor intensive work is now uh, required. This study opens the door to uh, many future uh, research efforts. Uh, in farm machinery markets, in looking at uh, the economies of, of size implications of different technologies of um, farm structure and land consolidation. In those farm machinery market studies would be included uh, custom hiring services and other uh, agri-tech businesses.